infinite tarot. This message is for Aries. Now you can have Aries anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Aries, this message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. Now, let's go. Now, guys, I was meditating on, on your energy. And before this card, before I sat down, this song came on. And it's uh, Kim featuring Rick Ross. And it, it was right on time. I heard right on time. So it just, I believe that's what it's called. Check it out. They're wearing white. Some of you guys may meet somebody in a white suit. Maybe he looks like Rick Ross. I don't know. So let's get into your reading. Justice. So maybe justice is about to be right on time. Maybe you were denied. And I just keep hearing, shh, the universe is telling you, shh, God is telling you, shh. Your ancestors, maybe tone it down because, look, you've been manifesting. And look, this could be in your head. This can be confusion. When, when am I going to get? And when is justice going to come? So if you're dealing with the, you know, court case or something and you're thinking about justice, it's time for you to keep your mind straight. If you're dealing with an injustice whatsoever, give it to God, the universe. Look, so above, so, so below. And. This is what I'm getting from this card. This is what I'm hearing. And it says, look, if you trust God, trust him down here. He's going to do what he said. It's, it's not on your time, Aries. It's not on your time. It's in divine timing. So it'll be perfect in his divine timing. That song is going to go both on whether it's love, business, or anything. Just trust. Some of you guys... Maybe you're holding on to some memories and you're thinking how it used to be. Mm. Justice. Then over here, what, what is it? Hmm. Maybe you had somebody when it comes to this other story, this other line. Or it can be both. Maybe you resonate with both. But look, for some of you guys... <laughs> Maybe you felt an injustice and it's like everybody's coming against you. And you know, at one point, the universe says, defend yourself. And Aries, for some of you guys, you have, you know, because normally Aries, man, you, this will be you. Or it could be, because Aries, sometimes you, you'll go up against a shitload of people. It's like, I'm hearing if you guys dealt, this is 3D world, and they were saying shit, and you would hold your own. 10, 15 people, and this is, maybe as a kid, you had to deal with this much bullying. The universe saw everything, sees everything. Yes, hears everything, sees everything. But most importantly, also knows our intentions. This goes for all of us. But the universe, look, maybe you're dealing with an injustice, and it's going to come it's going to be right on time. What is this? This is the King of Swords. Now, there's two things again, because there's two sides to the coin is what I'm hearing. If this was a relationship and somebody might have cut you off a little too harsh, meaning because it has the house right here. Somebody took you out of a home, ran you off, left you out in the cold. Because look, because this is right here, look, somebody you loved. And anybody that has been homeless would know this. But a lot of, a lot of them, and I'm, I'm hearing this, some will get out of this poverty and they forget that they have been there. But we're going to get to that, they said. But look, so maybe you're feeling an injustice towards somebody that was a little cold towards you. If this was a job, the same thing. Maybe you had a lot of investment. There was a lot that you invested in there that you manifested. 
and they fired you due to somebody else. I'm just hearing for whatever reason, somebody might have accused you of a particular thing. I don't know. And you might've had a lot of love for this particular place. If this is a business and look at you, you might've invested this something that you had put a little time into it. But I hear right on time. For some of you guys, the universe wants you to be silent. If they come towards you, then speak. But I just keep hearing silent. Now you're all up in your head. Because for a lot of Aries, because you're coming out right here. And Aries, the Aries that's, that I'm channeling right now. Look. This, this cup right here is what I'm seeing by Aries right here. This could be you. And you sit on your damn throne pretty damn well, 555, five, five, when I said that. And that, with these two cards, yes, it could mean somebody's coming to you, want to offer. But what I'm getting for the message I need to put out here is that you have this energy. You have this energy. And this is Aries, this is you. But you have this, even if you're not Aries, but you have this boss energy but you also offer the world love. You're open to give love. That's what I'm getting right now. If it is love coming towards you, we have the Ten of Swords right behind it. And this is good, however resonates with you, okay? If this is you with this loving energy, Betrayals are a part of your past. If this is you dealing with betrayals, like I said before, you have your fingers. And this, my friends, is you. Like if the devil, pretend the devil's right here. It's almost like you're flipping him the bird and said, I'm not dead yet. Whatever challenges people throw at you, you're still going to remain like this but humble, still giving love. Why do I say that? Because behind here, look, those days of them stabbing you in the back <laughs> are a thing of the past. Because if and when, because I'm hearing betrayals aren't gonna mean shit to you. You see them as lessons. Now that they might not happen oftenly because I think you're gonna be in this energy. And your aura, it's gonna be big as far as you're gonna you're gonna give out radiation of loves, protection, and you overcome these. A lot of people get stuck. A lot of people can't get up, especially if they put you in this energy. When it comes, could have been family. It could have been somebody. Oh, man, this is going to hit hard. For some of you guys, it might have even been a person that you took out of poverty. You were guided to help them, whether it was a friend, whether it was a, you know, a friend that turned into a spouse. Whether it was you helping somebody in business to rise up, you would know you have the energy. And it's almost like you, maybe you got betrayed. But you still stayed in this energy. This is you following your inner self with the universe. Because a lot of people might have thought, might have thought you were going to end in this energy. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a friend that maybe betrayed you and took your clientele or something. I don't know. Put yourself where it belongs. But what you put out will come back. And that's why I'm hearing justice. La justicia. Amigos, amigas. It's on your side. Put it in the comments. Justice is on my side. Good karma. I call it good karma. Because a lot of us, if we went through this, no one's perfect. I ain't perfect. But look, you understand universal law. When you have to pay karmic debt, you're in this energy. And that's why a lot of people will be like, damn. And you will. This is what 2024 Mm -mm. This is the energy going to be. You're going to be in this energy. 
You have two cups. You got two 40s, baby, right here. Man, you like to drink. But see, moderation with everything. Some of you guys learn to control yourself. And a lot of you guys, the universe, God, is going to use one of, uh, maybe all of you guys. That no matter what people judge you in the past, you still in this energy. You look at the disciples, they all had flaws. But there's a reason that you are going through this process. And you're gonna find this. You're gonna find the truth because a lot of you guys are, are trying to find what's, what's, what's going on. Yes, Aries, look. And there's somebody looking and spying they may be a little defensive, you know, but why are they defensive? Because some of you guys are dealing with somebody that, <laughs> the one that backed at you. <laughs> and some of you guys, you were just dealing with people that might have been, they weren't even there. They formed their own opinion. And, you know, as it went from one person to the other person to the person, well, it, it just turned into BS. That's why I was led to say about gossip, gossip goes, it's just it's kind of stupid, you know, but, and people don't understand it. It could get, it could get far. A lot of us, different stages that you're on this journey, there's a lot of vulnerabilities that we, with that, that, I mean, depending where you're at, some are stronger. Some could appear to be the strongest areas, you know, you could be appearing that you, you stronger as fuck. You on your throne because you don't show it. You can cover your scars, your hard scars. And to be in this energy, to lose somebody over some discouragement. Aries, for a lot of you guys, it hit you hard because it might have came from the closest ones. Here you are protecting yourself from the world, helping people lift up. Help them to make coins. Directing them. Because some of you guys are guided to do this. In your way, you're, look. And it might have heard. It might have came from the, the closest one. For a lot of you guys, even, you might have spent Christmas even with without your kids. And they're older. A lot of you guys are like, oh, my kids are old. Yeah, they're adults. Maybe they, you know, and you feel like. That even though they hurt you, this is adult kids. Even though they betrayed you, even though they hurt you, guys, you still, you might have not lost your home, but you feel empty, you feel betrayed, and you see this particular person leave. And if this is a child that you're dealing with, maybe they betrayed you and you feel that they took your money and it's almost like maybe left you in this situation and you're in an older age. It's hard. It's your kid. How could you, you know, that would be hard. And it's maybe your money that you needed. And some of you guys are dealing even with the prodigal son. The prodigal son took off thinking the grass was greener. <laughs> He's about to jump off the cliff and then it's almost like a cycle completed for some of you guys. <laughs> and if it was a, it would, if, it, if you guys were dealing with the prodigal son or daughter, this is going to be for somebody there. You understood. You understood. Because a lot of parents will hold our kids back. And it is under, because of protection. We, the world is cruel. There's a lot of shit. And you always want the best for them. And if you're some an adult kid, maybe you're getting into college or whatever, you you wonder why your dad was hard as fuck. If he, for some of you guys, you're still crying over ex that your your dad ran off. I'm here in bad boy style. <laughs> oh my god! If you're from the East LA, man, you scared the shit out of that that boy. But it was almost like you were guided to do that, and it was protection for your daughter. You're gonna know if that was for you guys, but. If it's an adult, a prodigal son, I'm hearing her daughter that left. One of you guys as a parent or both, y'all understood and you're going to understand that it's part of their journey. 
And yes, they, they're probably going to come back like this. Maybe they're on their way and they have a little bit of pride. But the universe, one way or another, the universe, God, is going to work that out to where they do come back. Because that is a blessing. If they come back to you and they've learned their lesson, dude, you guys are family. That's somebody needed to hear it because look, some of you guys are still waiting. If you're a, a parent, even if you're a grandparent listening to this, you know sooner or later they're coming. You could be dealing with the cancer, fire, I got water, air, all the elements here. If this was a lover, I don't know about that. They might be wanting to come back and <laughs> you watching them, you feeling them coming back to you like this. No, no, I don't know. This dude looks like he's on fire, man. Some of you ladies are they're dealing with somebody. It's like he's been town to town. And some of you guys are thinking, should I take him back? For some of you guys, he took off to work maybe overseas, another place, and you might have forgotten you've been having this burden. And it's almost like I'm hearing you both are marrying each other, but he's coming with the change. So some of you guys do have somebody that was disciplined. You've been waiting for him, and it is going to come through. For some of you guys, this could be somebody you have memories with, big memories. And I'm hearing, don't allow any situation to affect your purpose. Okay? To affect your purpose, look. To affect your money, your purpose, what God, the universe put you. Because a lot of you guys, Aries, especially you, you bottle all your, your, your anger and everything. And Aries, you're the, it's like you're ready to roll. You're the first one on the, on the horse or on the lineup. You get in protective mode, you want to you wanna go, but the universe is telling you to open up. Because some of you guys have experienced some amazing things. I mean, amazing. It's, it's going to help. I'm hearing trees, tree, maybe you like trees, but what you've been going through, the experiences, because that's a lot of them. Some of you guys had to learn a lot of lessons. I don't know about y'all, but I flunked kindergarten, but it wasn't because of this. I flunked because the girls like me. And yes, I had hair back then, a little chubby. But anyways, you guys, look, you have options or you had, maybe this particular person had to learn these lessons and, or you're learning these lessons and you're looking back and you're like, fuck, I love my spiritual journey, but this shit was bumpy. I had to go through all these nightmares and it's been cold out here by myself. But you have gratitude and you're looking back like, damn, I went, I learned these motherfucking lessons. And you start to love the universe, God. And if you're waiting on a soulmate, because some of you guys are like, you know what? I invested. I know my values. I know what I want. And you're putting that into the universe. And it's almost like just what you order. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are like, I want King Dingling or something. I don't know. <laughs> but look, it brings you happiness. Oh, my God. Ladies, don't let passion. For my fellas, too. Just because the nalgas are big, bro, look inside. <laughs> Some of you guys, you know, just because the booty's big. The universe, look. Some, some of you guys are going to be tested. And it's almost like <laughs> you guys are, are getting to a level, and I'm here in Psalms 92, 9210. Something to, you're going to understand because something about you, strength. For some of you guys with this devil behind here and this card right here, it's almost like what the doctor ordered. <laughs> if you're dealing with the doctor, I don't know. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere you chart. Jupiter, <laughs> that's why this came out. It's expanding because some of you guys, the love that you have, if you hear that song in the beginning, right on time, right on time, the devil's going to try to trick you. And some of you guys, you're going to feel that maybe it's the devil, but for a lot of you guys, I'm just telling you, 
Use your intuition and read Psalms 92.10. It's going to give you a clue for your next step and for you to maintain it. Because you're going to have that. It's almost like the devil's about to free one of these. It's like the minion. Maybe set you up or just test you. Because you're right here like, God, universe, this is what I asked for for Christmas and you didn't bring it. And I know the new year's coming in and I'm so ready for it. Uh, I, I, I let go of my past. The past hurt, you know, and yes, it was a little painful. And man, I, there was more, you know, this is you accepting your inner child. Like, yes, putting everything to death. You know, that one time I got drunk, I, you know, I, I got with such and such and just all these things when I got hurt as a child. And look, and you're looking at the world with the positivity. You're ready right on time. You know it's coming. And look, you know it's coming. The celebration. Why? Because you trust in God's timing. <laughs> Damn. I don't know, but God will vindicate you. A lot of you guys don't even have to fight. And you, you got the ability. I'm here. A lot of times, you know, you, you dealt with enemies that put you under pressure. You see? You see what I mean? Put you under pressure. And I feel somebody's ancestor pushing pushing me like that. Look, and the universe has got your back. It's like, don't, don't worry about flip. Don't even try to flip out. Because Aries, you're not the old Aries. Your ancestors are celebrating. Some of you guys need to open up. I keep hearing. And look, this card it says right here. I can't say this person's name, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys. But it says... Higher learning. It says you have learned from experiences. What could I tell you? It says more inner study is now required to further your progress. So I don't know who needed to hear that, but one last thing. Let's see. Uh, what is it? What is it? What do we have for some of you guys? When it comes to love, I, they just want me to tell you when it comes to love, because some of you guys are like, well, I want new love. Yes, you have asked the universe for what you want. And yes, it will become victorious. And yes, it does come. Listen to that song. It's going to give you a clue on it as far as love, but use your discernment. And a lot of you guys, I see the queen of pentacles right here. Your intuition is banging. But, and you, I don't know who needs to hear it. They want you, no matter how you go into this world or how you navigate, you know, you're always putting God first. You're going to be. And this is going to resonate. Some of you guys already know, but just for the ones that are going to resonate, that need this. Fear belongs to God, the universe. You shouldn't fear nothing else, not even the devil. Some of you guys, that fear is what lets negative energy in. You're going to know this. You're going to learn this. And you're going to learn how to trust that every come, everything comes in divine timing. That's why I kept hearing right on time. Maybe that song is going to help you because you need it love, but don't let anyone or anything affect or make you think that you are not the blessing. You are the motherfucking blessing. Baby, I'm just... And a lot of you guys, you have divine empowerment. Aries. I don't know if you know that, but you have the gift. Look. You see this? And it could be like this. There's somebody that is still stalking you. But this could be a lot of people. And... You know, we talked about gossip. It's almost like there's somebody, ah, Aries is doing this, or Aries is going to be in another, or is with this person. But you're going to stand in this in energy. And I'm hearing divine empowerment. This is you focusing on love and what you want. And look, this fool keeps coming out. You're not going to fear him, no matter how he looks. He could come in a pretty ass body, face, whatever. You're going to know. And I'm hearing your divine power. It's a gift. See, because even if they're there, you're, you're not going to watch your back. 
this person could be in front of you, but you have divine empowerment. It's a gift from God. It's almost like an invitation, you know, for you to live your best life, your purpose. Most importantly, love, amor. So don't let anything or anyone affect your purpose, what you came here to do. Some of you guys, you're here to give love. Look, chingo de aguas. And why did I say that? Look, and some of you guys, fuck, you guys are used to be in a hurry. Fuckers, y'all were getting all the girls, huh? All the men. <laughs> you're in the desert, like, when is mine coming? <laughs> I'm still trying to get over this one. And God, where's my coming? You know. Anyways, don't let anybody affect that. And, and keep pushing forward. Keep uplifting the next person. Some of them are going through hard times right now. And dude, we've all been through it. A lot of those, those times. Hmm. A lot of those times, you know, had us in fear mode, not knowing where we were going. Some of us didn't even have work. <laughs> Some of them, they took shit from us. And we still remade this. And Aries, you're being asked to stay in this energy. Because, look, karma's 2024 is in your favor. You just had to walk away from conflict. Conflict. Mid to conflict. Or even the BS conflict, people say, look, this is you trusting God wherever you're going. And baby, a lot of you guys, you're leaving behind this, whether it was in your mind or the people around you. Some of you guys just, you're not going to resonate. And you're going straight right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. The horse is like, damn. You did it. For some of you guys, you have an uncle that passed it. He's like, you can do it. Sobrino, sobrina. And look. Where is it at? Where is it at? Well, I'm going to show you. This person, that it flipped like this. I couldn't say it. This person, the universe is going to expose them. Him, them, whoever it was. You don't got to worry. You just got to trust in the universe. You're still going to come up winning. Mm-hmm. So that's what I got for you guys, Aries. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment if this is you because you're freaking blessed. You're fucking strong. I don't know how you did it, but you, you're fucking strong, powerful. And yes, get to the money, get to the money, yes. Because I see that looking, you're loving it. And so does the world. Keep going. Pa' adelante, amigos. Infinite Tarot, 888.